And of course, we can't leave tonight without talking about the area's only micronation. It was created by San Diego's slow jam DJ Randy Williams, who purchased this empty desert lot in 2021, turning the open space into an entire world of its own. Welcome to Slow Jamistan. Ladies and gentlemen, I now pronounce you Slow Jamistan. A celebration in the United Territories of the sovereign nation of the People's Republic of Slow Jamistan, or simply Slow Jamistan for short. As a group of citizens is welcomed to one of the newest attractions near the Salton Sea, just off Highway 78. Well, it all started with a movement against the shoes they call Crocs. Uh, very disturbed by that. Uh, we contacted our local and uh, national uh, police and uh, government and authorities to try to stop the spread of uh, Crocs across America. It, uh, the request landed on deaf ears, blind eyes. We could have done two things, a violent uprising, but I'm a peaceful guy, so instead uh, we created our very own country where crocs are strictly prohibited. That's His Excellency Supreme Sultan Randy R. Dub Williams, the leader of Imperial County's only micronation. And what his country lacks in terms of legal recognition, it makes up for with its own currency, changing accent, and completely original national anthem. Inside our nation, you were never alone. I this little time is time. So time is time is where I'm from. This is my home. Permission on that anthem still pending. And while Crocs are a big no, the area has some other strict laws which are taken very seriously, including no biting into string cheese. Which, of course, string cheese was, was meant to be, uh, have the strings lovingly pulled. No replying all to emails. I hate this, why do people do it? In Sloyamistan, you get caught doing that. Our IT department goes into your computer, replaces all of your fonts with Comic Sans for 30 days. No mumble rap. Uh, the punishment is very strict. 500 word essay on what 90s hip hop means to you. And no speeding, with one exception. If you are bringing home uh, tacos from the takeout and you get pulled over speeding, if you have tacos next to you, we give you a pass because what is fun about cold tacos? If those rules are broken, you'll have to deal with the area's chief border agent. Uh, our budget is very, very tiny. Therefore, I have to do a lot of uh, uh, bicycling, uh, jumping, uh, pogo sticking, uh, crying, uh, running, you name it. I have to do all of that. It's a very, very hard job. But don't worry, that water gun in his holster only shoots tequila. At about 18,000 citizens and counting, Slojamistan has a larger population than a handful of nations. However, none actually live on site and many just visit virtually. But as it grows, the leaders want to make a splash and have proposed renaming the nearby Salton Sea to the Sultan Sea. We might have to take things into our own hands. If you suddenly go down there and it no longer says Salton Sea, and now says Sultan Sea, you know, I'm not saying who, but it could have been us. But most importantly, the Sultan says it's a place for all. Escape from everything, all the bickering and the fighting. We have uh, no labels in Sloyamistan. Just don't bring crocs. So come on, stop. Again, the space isn't legally recognized as a country, and the name Salton Sea isn't going anywhere. But that's not stopping the Sultan and visitors from bringing just a bit of fun to an area that's dealing with a unique set of challenges. We'll be right back.